Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm just going to show you a very quick tutorial about how you can send OSC, Open Sound Control, to an iPad or iPhone. A lot of people are using Hexler Touch OSC to send OSC data into Zadora using the stream setup here. I've already pressed a few things. Basically, you make sure you're all connected to the same network, click auto detect move a few things around, they will show up here you renumber the ports and you would get basic OSC via a listener so as I move this crossfader and give it a channel 2 you see that, that data is me moving a crossfader from left to right ok but today we want to send that data back out basically to an iPad. Now I've created this very simple example just here. We've got an LED um, LED light here set to red and this is the, uh, the target if you like the name of it. And I've also got here a fader, okay just a green fader shown here. Now the first thing I've done if we just have a look at this is we know that the the target is forward slash one forward slash LED one. So here I've got forward slash one forward slash LED one. Now um, <clears throat> basically what I want to do is turn this LED on and off. This could be used for a number of things. You can decide what's going to be used for yourself. And basically the first thing I've done is we need to scale this. Okay. Um, we're probably going to need it to go from 0 to 1 and I can tell you it's going to have to be that because here the range is 0 to 1 0 being off, 1 being on 99.9% .9 of the time unless you want to invert it or whatever I've obviously uploaded this to my iPad which I've got next to me I'm also connected to a I've created my own network here as well rather than using my works ones because they're full of proxies and firewalls so I've created my own network I have connected my iPad to that network and I've also found out the IP address which is this one okay so that's uh, that's my <coughs> self created IP address the port is 5001 you can change that on the iPad I'll take a few screenshots to show you how to do that You've got to remember that this isn't this isn't this port. Where is it? I always forget this one. Yeah, one two three four is the incoming port. Okay, that's the OSC data coming into Isadora. We're actually transmitting it, sending it out, and touch OSC. I think by default is five thousand and one, unless I've changed it. Okay, so basically. I've just used this comparator actor, we don't really need it right now, but I'll explain why I did that. I want to press 1 and press enter. My iPad light has come on, and you'll see that in the edit that I do. I want to press 0, the LED goes off. Now, what I've done is, if I connect this trigger value, I've got a comparator. Oops, just do that again. I've got a comparator, and basically, I've got this to change. Um, on change and you have a value coming in here via this one and I've got the value 2 set to 100 so basically what it's doing is the second little button here whatever value is sent into this it will tell you whether it's true or false and if it matches so if it's true and it does reach 100 that could be 127 if it's a MIDI fader but I'll just leave it as 100 basically that's the value to say yes do something it triggers 1 and that one goes along and goes bang and turns the LED light on yet again. If I press 0 in here and press enter, you will see that it sends this 0 along and turns the LED light off again. 
Right, I hope you found that useful. There's obviously a lot more I could go into, but it's a relatively short tutorial. Uh, some of the footage that I recorded on my phone to show the iPad a little bit jumpy because my iPhone's very full of music, but hopefully it will give you the uh, the idea that you need to understand what I was going on about. Uh, so my name's Graham Thorne. A lot of you will know me as Sculpture on the forums and websites and stuff. Hope that's been useful. Thanks.